Oh, hello. Good morning. Um, welcome to our week of prayer in Cornerstone Church. I'm so glad you've joined us. Now, uh, this year, our verse for the year is, For Christ's love compels us. For Christ's love compels us. And this year in our prayer week, we're going to look each day at something that Christ's love compels us to do. So yesterday, Sunday, we prayed about the fact that Christ's love compels us to be loved. Um, that because God loves us, he wants us to know what it is to be loved. And in that prayer meeting last night, I encouraged us to step into the river of God's love and to go with the flow of God's love. Well, today I want us to consider the fact that Christ's love compels us to love the lost, to love the lost. You see, this river of God's love that comes from the Father, Son and Holy Spirit in heaven, overflowing into life and into the believers, is a love that he wants us to overflow into the world. So our verse from the earth comes from 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 14, and it says this, For Christ's love compels us. Because we are convinced that one died for all and therefore all died. And he died for all. That those who live should no longer live for themselves, but for him who died for them and was raised for them. So when we become a Christian, we change completely. We're no longer about us. We're about him. And he wants us to be compelled by him. And to do what? Well, according to 2 Corinthians chapter 5, it's to having been reconciled, to have a ministry of reconciliation. This is what he says. He says, verse 18, all this is from God who reconciled us to himself through Christ and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. That God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ, not counting people's sins against them. And he has committed to us the message of reconciliation. We are therefore Christ's ambassadors. As though God were making his appeal through us. That is the good news of the Christian faith. We have been reconciled and now we have a ministry of reconciliation. So today, let's pray for the lost. You can do this in a number of ways. Uh, number one, as you walk around town, as you drive to work, as you meet with people, pray for them. Particularly when you see people who don't know the Lord. Whether you know them or not, pray for them. There and there, arrow prayers. I pray for that person. Open their eyes. Save them, Father. As well, what you can do today is sit and down, pause and consider three people that you would love come to know the Lord this year. Who are the three people that you would love see saved in 2022? Write them down, maybe in your Bible, maybe on a sheet of paper, put them on your fridge door, put them in your prayer diary or the prayer mate app. Write down three people you would like to be uh, saved and then pray for them today. Repeatedly pray for them and ask the Lord to give you an open door. And ask the Lord to give you the courage to speak. And ask the Lord to do a work in their hearts through the Holy Spirit. So those are two ways to pray for today. Just walk around and pray for those you see and think of three people in particular. Wouldn't it be wonderful in a year's time in the new year 2023 to go and think wow look who's come to church look who's come to Christ so today Christ loves compels us to love the lost